Let me quickly show you these new interactive game show overlays that you can start using in your streams to start increasing your watch time and viewer engagement. There's a handful of games to choose from, like games similar to Deal or No Deal, Quiz Shows, or even Jeopardy. So shout outs to Stream Games TV for sponsoring today's video so I can feed my little mouth. But let's check out some of these fun games and I'll show you just how to set these bad boys up in just a couple of minutes. So first we gotta go to the website, which I'll leave a link in the description down below where you guys can follow along at home. And then from here, we can click on our games to see all of the different game overlays that we're able to choose from. So we have a couple different ones like Quiz Show, Chat Duel, Jeopardy, Accept or Reject, or Stream Ultimate. And you can see the amount of players it requires underneath each of them. My personal favorite is the Deal or No Deal ripoff, which is Accept or Reject, because I feel like this gives you so much more chat engagement because chat can actually vote for the cases and it makes it so much of a better time. But once you've gotten your hands on the game of your choice, then you can go to the top right and click Log In. And then you're gonna see all of your available game shows here. So I'm gonna actually click on Accept or Reject. We'll click the Open button. And then we go to the left-hand side side, we're first going to go to the settings and set everything up. So you can enable the background if you'd like. Personally, I like to have it transparent so people can see me and adjust chatting setting while also playing the game. So I have that disabled. You can also change all the different colors here, but I'm just going to click save to keep it simple. Then we're going to go to the one above it, which is actually going to be the rewards. So I like to play for loyalty points, which I showed how to do in a video in the top right corner. You can check that out with the chat bot. And so they'll be able to play and win certain loyalty points which they can gamble on the stream or do whatever. With. So you can go and customize all the things here. I think by default, it says euros, but I went ahead and transferred all of it to points. You can also add lists over here. So if you want to have different lists, you can go and make one. So if we wanted to do pennies, give out pennies, then you can go there, add a list, and you can switch between your lists here, and you can go and edit them and have different lists. And then when you're done, you can click save in the top right corner once again. Go up one more, and this is going to open up the actual overlay. So what we need to do is actually copy this overlay at the very top. So we'll go and copy that. And now, now we can go into our OBS... Wait... You guys didn't see anything. Now we can go into our streaming software and I'm gonna add a new source, that browser source. We're gonna call this accept or reject, click okay. And now we're gonna paste in the URL we just copied, change the width to 920 and then height by 1080, click okay. And now we can see that our game show overlay is popped up over our screen and then it doesn't have the background because we did remove the background if you remember. So this is what it'll look like on stream. So let's go back to the website. So now we have to go to the original tab and we can control the game from here. So if we go to the play button over on the left hand side, so you can toggle on the chat mode which is just going to be if you want the Twitch chat to be able to participate. So if they type one in chat, then they'll vote for case number one. So you can set the timer and number of seconds. I'll probably do like maybe seven. You put in your Twitch username, whatever your Twitch is. You don't have to log in, which is awesome. So just put your Twitch username, click save, and then we can click start game. So I brought up both OBS and the game so you can see what's going on here. So as soon as I click start voting, chat's gonna have a timer to vote for a case. So I'm gonna vote for case number five. I sent that in the chat. You can see that right now the five went up by one vote. So if you have more chatters voting they'll have different votes so we just chose case number five as our case and then we can click the start voting again to choose what case we want to open first so let's say we want to vote for 12 we'll send that in the chat and all of your twitch chatters can vote so we wait for the timer to go down and then we picked case number 12 which happened to be number eight which is 70 points so they can no longer play for 70 points so like a normal game of deal or no deal you can actually have a bank offer you can have this be there or if you want you can change it be like you know i don't think that's good enough so we can go and put in a custom offer and then once we do we can click change and it'll appear over here on the right hand side so you can offer your own chat whatever you think would be best for that situation especially if you're using things other than points and then from here we'll click start voting again and then they have a chance to type yes or no so if we want to accept the offer we can type in yes which i will the yes will go up they'll accept the offer you give them the offer and then that would be the end of the game you can also show the lock case so what they had selected which was thirty thousand points so in this case they made a horrible call but let's check out another one of the games another one that i like is the quiz show because you can play this directly with the chatters instead of having to have some friends on the screen. So people that struggle to have friends, you can go and click on the single player one, which is quiz show. And it's going to be a very similar process. We can go to the settings, change all the settings that we would like. In the bottom left, you can see the point structure. You can add or delete stages if you'd like. You can also change the joker. Right here is going to be your Twitch channel. If you do the Twitch chat joker, that means that Twitch chat can help you pick a option as well as all of the different things like who wants to be a millionaire. So like 50-50, ask the audience, all that stuff. And you can change all the colors like normal and then click save and update overlay in the top right. Then you can go to the next 
next one, which is just going to be all the different questions. So you can add your questions here. You have a question one, question two. So for the second question, we'll just do, will you like this video? Which by the way, if you guys want more videos like this, feel free to drop a like on this video to get more recommended in your feed. Then you can go and add all of your questions here. And then once you're done, you can click save. And then the same thing, we're gonna click this one. It's gonna pop up the browser URL that we need to copy. So we're gonna go and click on the copy button here. Copy that. Now we go into OBS. We can click the browser source option, adding one there. And then we can click on browser source. And like I said, you can use this for other streaming softwares like Streamlabs or anything else. So it doesn't have to be OBS. You just need to add a browser source. We're gonna paste that link, change the width and the height to 1920 by 1080. Click OK, give it a second. And now you can see the overlays popped up here. So now we can actually go back to this one here and then we go up to the play and we can click on restart game if we had one going before. So now we can click on start game. It's gonna give us the first question that we did. So we can log in and answer here. And then we have the Joker. So if we wanna do the Twitch chat Joker, which means we're gonna ask our Twitch audience what they think it is. So we can click on Twitch chat Joker. We're gonna click on A cause that's gotta be the, the right answer, right? So I typed in A and it has my action there. So we just wait for the countdown to finish. Then it automatically picks what Twitch chat voted. So they think that I'm the best YouTuber, which is probably the correct answer. So we can click on show correct answer and, oh, I see. But then you can also notice that the Twitch chat button is grayed out because you can only get one per game. You can move on to the next question with the next question button. And will you like this video? We can do a 50-50, which will give us the 50-50 answers. So it's either this or that. Wait a minute, those aren't real answers. You can also use the other ones. So ask the audience, you can phone a friend, all that. And now you can see we've used all of ours. You can click on log in your answers. So I'm gonna go with D. I'm gonna click show correct answer. And it shows that I got the correct answer. And you just go all the way through until you finish your quiz show, which will bring you all the way up here, which now realize Realizing I am stupid and it's supposed to be the opposite because we just got 700 points even though that's supposed to be one of the easier ones. So don't be an idiot like me and have this set up correctly. 15 me the highest amount, one being the lowest. I just messed this up for the tutorial because who do you think I am, Einstein? I'm just some wannabe YouTuber, so leave me alone. You can also check out the other games here which you can click on it and it shows you tutorials on how to set those up and you can try out the free trials if you'd like if you don't want to commit right away. But if you scroll down from the game shows, you can also see the different options. So you can pay by month for five bucks a month and cancel whenever. Or if you just want to buy them all at once, that's cool too. Or even buy one at a time. It really doesn't matter. But I'll leave a link in the description down below and you guys can save 20% using the coupon code CPAUSE20. And if for whatever reason you guys do not like it, they offer 100% money back guarantee. So it's basically risk-free money. And if you buy the game, you get lifetime updates forever. So once again, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Watch this video to the side over here. It's going to help you so much with your streaming game. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.